Today we are at Asian American and Pacific Islander Leadership Summit and we just listened to uh, some speeches and I think it's quite uh, exciting and also it's shocking for us. And why are Asian Americans being ignored in this country? I think basically uh, it's the message and the image of Asian Americans. What happened is us, uh, a lot of times uh, we'll be stereotyped and then we'll put in a box. But in reality, we are not. And that, not only that we know about it, and then now we have data to prove it, that Asian American is very much a participatory uh, <coughs> a part of the uh, population. I think among us, I think we are actually very influential, but somehow we're boxing that, <coughs> that we are misunderstood. And it's very important. Research and data, when the truth come out, is actually is power. And then we have to harness this power and then make sure the general public will understand that we're very much a part of this Asian uh, Americans and then very much a part of Americans in this country. And I think basically it's, just, uh, it's so important that <clears throat> With this recognition, we can actually <coughs> encourage more participation, more attention for the whole general population. I think this is, will be the Asian century, and then <coughs> we have to recognize the Asian Americans here are making their rightful contributions, and also we should also get the rightful allocation of resources. I think uh, meeting like this and, the, and <coughs> is very, very important. And then leadership forum is even more important that we have to lead our way into the greatness, uh, the greatness of our community and greatness of our country that we so loved. So as the chairman of uh, C Civic Leadership USA uh, to organize this event, so what's your expectation and what do you want to see the people can get from this uh, summit? I think we have a long way to go. Leadership takes time to nurture and to develop. But however, we have to start somewhere. We're igniting the fire among all of the passion for it. With passion and dedication, I think we could go somewhere. And then we need a lot of leaders from different area, so when they go back to their community, they will then carry on this fire at night in the heart of as many Asian Americans in this country. So everything starts with leadership. You mentioned about we have to go somewhere. Also in your speech, you mentioned about we are flying together to a des destination. So what is a de destination? And go somewhere. Where are we going? I think the destination is very much that we want to make our community strong. Every pocket, every city, that community to be strong. And then the destination is us, that we participate fully in the area of serving the people, that means we're actually working for the government, serving the people, and then we are making influence in every facet of life that we become <coughs> participatory and also be commissioners that make some of those uh, uh, supervision and the direction of every facet of the profession. And more importantly, in adjusting the legislation that fit the modern world, I think basically to get elected in every possible area like education, like uh, in the health, and also in the city council, uh, the mayor office, the county supervisor, and then move on to <coughs> state assembly, state senate, and also all the positions in the gov uh, state government. Or, and then we'd like to see more Asian congressmen senators and then maybe in the far not too far future we can all the way we can get some asian american into the white house
and that is our ultimate goal. Thank you so much. And this is uh, Mr. Sandy Chow, the chairman and founder of Civic Leadership USA.